Cool, wet weather and even a shot of snow across the region has slowed planting progress across much of Minnesota. The season had gotten off to a fast start as the state's climatologist office reports that March was among the top 10 warmest on record. Many locations in Minnesota set record high temperatures in early April as temperatures topped the 80 degree mark. Since that time, cool daytime and overnight temperatures as well as rain have dampened progress. Dairyland seed agronomist Brian Weller says minimal planting activity took place before the cold arrived. Uh, when you get in southeast Minnesota, there's some folks that have got some corn in the ground and scattered throughout south central Minnesota. There's some folks that have, you know, 5, 10, maybe a 20 acre field or maybe a little bit more that's already in from a corn standpoint. Wholeheartedly, I think we're going to we're going to really start probably that April 20th date. While the calendar says it's time to plant, Weller says soil conditions and soil temperatures should dictate when farmers get back in the field. Science hasn't changed too much. It's just the fact that, you know, we've maybe got some ground that's a little bit better drained and some of the soils are starting to warm up a little bit quicker because of that. And uh, it, it helps. You know, we've, we've definitely had a lot of wind here the last week or two, and that definitely removes a lot of moisture from the soil profile. Despite the recent chill, the planting window is still wide open although many farmers aim for early planting to maximize their yield potential. Anytime we can get in the field just a little bit earlier and we have good conditions, you know, good planting conditions, that's definitely going to help our, our growing season. You know, when we get in the northern corn belt, we're definitely going to have, you know, a, a little bit more of a, a disadvantage. We don't always have all the ground degree units that everyone else has, you know, on average. And if we can get in a little bit earlier, get a little bit better start, get that corn off to a good start, usually, knock on wood, it's good for our yields. This is Lynn Kettleson reporting.